All right, nerds, even though it's Saturday, we got a jam-packed show for you today. we got iPhone 13 stuff to talk about, as well as some exclusive AirTags information. And by <laughs> jam-packed show, I mean, it'll be a terrible episode, as always. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT, Fapata, the show that gives you... Forgot to breathe. <sighs> Gotta breathe first. <laughs> the show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Uh, happy Saturday. Hey, just want to say thank you. A couple days ago, I announced my brand new podcast with Sam from the iUpdate YouTube channel. It's called Genius Bar, and I know what it sounds like, but it is definitely not about Apple. The candy bar thing? Yeah, that's not like a disguise or anything that we use to get around Apple's review process. Nah, that, that not it. Literally, all that is up there right now is a one and a half minute trailer because the first episode doesn't drop until February 8th, and somehow, some way, you guys have already put this show in the top charts. It's currently sitting at number five in technology in the United States. Weird for a candy podcast that definitely isn't about Apple. No joke, it's a couple shows above MKBHD's podcast, which is wild. So I don't even know what to say. Thank you for your support. You guys are absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to leave a link if you want to go subscribe to the show. I'll leave links down in the description below. All right, let's talk about today's tech news before it's all irrelevant by Monday. Okie dokie. So first up for the day's story, numero uno. God, John, talk about something that's not about Apple. We need some variety. <laughs> Front page tech? More like front page Apple. Eh, told ya. I read the comments. All right, fine. You want a story that's not about Apple? Here you go, bitch. Xiaomi has introduced or announced a brand new way of charging called M Me Air Charge. Oh no, why? Xiaomi, you could have called it air power. It's a cute little base station that will charge your devices without you needing to place them on a wireless charging mat or plug them in. Nah, none of that. This will charge your phone through the air. That's right. This is witchcraft. They claim that it can charge your device from several meters away, and apparently physical obstacles won't interfere much with the charge. It's only five watt charging, but like, still. And it's not just for your phone either. They say that it'll work with your phone, your smartwatch, or like a fitness device wearable thing. This is seriously such a fascinating technology. And I've been doing this show for a long time. I have been talking about this exact thing for a while now. This is the future. Just walking around with your phone while it just kind of charges passively in your pocket. Like you don't even got to think about it. In fact, according to my sources, Apple has been working on this exact thing for years now. Back in May last year, so 2020, I said this in one of our podcast episodes. It's so far away, but the air, the AirPower team, the reason Apple is so passionate and dedicated into making AirPower work is because the ultimate project for that team is charging over Wi-Fi. I know that sounds crazy. That's why I don't that's why I never publicly said it. No, I get it though. I'm, but yeah, that that's it. what that team is responsible for. After wireless chargers and after AirPower Similar technology will be implemented into communication between your device and Wi-Fi signals around you that will wirelessly charge your phone. So you won't, it'll just charge mm -hmm. in your pocket. Really, if we're being honest, the ultimate dream here is for this technology to work soon, sometime in the future, over both Wi-Fi and a cellular, cellular connection. <laughs> over Wi-Fi and a cellular connection. That way, even when you're out and about, your devices are still charging. That would be so cool. I mean, <laughs> I don't leave the house like ever, so it doesn't matter to me, but maybe you, actually, you don't leave the house either. I know, I can see you sitting there with the Cheeto dust all over your fingers, I know. So let's recap the good. Charge your phone through the air like witchcraft. The bad, charge your phone through the air like witchcraft. Like, I give this a whole two months before we find out that someone's phone was charging in their pocket and also the radiation ate a hole through their stupid leg. Hello everyone, I brought this into my house and now my house is a microwave, but at least my phone is at 90%. See, 90%, that's good. Is my, is my face still there? All righty tighty, next let's talk about air tags. Are you, are you sick about hearing about AirTags yet? As I have mentioned over and over and over again, as you can see from our leak of the final design for AirTags, there is no way to connect them to anything. So you'll have to rely on something like a keychain, of course, sold separately by Apple, or a keychain like the ones that we're starting to see from third-party accessory makers. Other than the leaks that I've put out, we have yet to like officially see 
air tags. They haven't been announced. We're still waiting for them, obviously. Those accessory makers that I just told you about had them listed to ship in October of last year, around the same time that I told you that they were delayed. And now, thanks to a few of my sources who I had dig around a little bit to try to get some extra information, some better insight as to why these haven't launched yet. And really, they, they get all the credit. <laughs> I didn't do anything. These, these people, they got the information for you. Reason number one, which I've mentioned before on this show, the pandemic. Apparently Apple just thinks the timing has been bad for an AirTags launch. But number two, and this honestly made me laugh when this was repeated to me by a few sources, uh, they are literally still working on ways to attach them to things. That's right. Not just like the Apple leather keychain that they've been working on. That's finished for the most part. I mean, I've seen pictures of the leather keychain that Apple made for these things, but other ways, like perhaps magnetic ways with Nuts. Maybe there are other keychains or magnetic ways to attach them to things. I'm not sure of all the accessories that Apple is working on or that they'll introduce with them since there's really no telling exactly how they're going to market them when they go on stage or put this out in the press release, however they do it. But apparently they are going to offer a few different options and some of those options were still being worked on and not finalized. So even though these air tags, the actual product has been completed and gone through the first stage of mass production, the the accessories were the thing holding up the launch, which is hilarious to me because this could have all been avoided if they just natively put a way to attach them to things in the air tag. But no, Tim Cook had to Tim Cook it up and get even more out of you by being like, oh no, guess there's no way to attach them to things. Look like you're gonna have to give me more of your money if you need to like, I don't know, put these on anything. Sorry about that. As far as getting an official release finally for air tags, I'm still being told March. So until I hear anything otherwise, let's go with that. AirTags in March. Okay, uh, let's pay some bills. All right, listen, this is the tech show. You're watching a tech show. You don't need me to tell you what a VPN is or why you need one. What I can tell you is that my boys over at WeVPN are all VPN veterans who were just tired of all the sketchy practices of other VPNs that they worked for, so they joined forces and created one of the fastest and most secure VPNs out there. For only three bucks a month on a yearly plan, you get access to all premium features, a choice of over 50 server locations, and yes, you can use WeVPN to unblock most streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, and tons more. More. They're already offering 62% off right now with one month free, and you, because you're a front page tech viewer, can subtract an additional 10% off just by using the promo code FPT at checkout. My challenge to you is that even if you're already using a VPN right now, if you like this show, if you trust me, click the link down in the description right now to give WeVPN a try. All right, Miho, welcome back. Uh, remember a couple of months ago, oh, iPhone 13, this is the iPhone 13 stuff, if you weren't aware. Remember a couple of uh, months ago when I said this? I reported that Apple was testing Touch ID under the display for iPhone 13, so 2021, that's this year. Effectively giving the next new iPhones two forms of biometric authentication. Obviously with Face ID and now re-implementing Touch ID and then marketing that as a way to unlock your phone easier, even if you're wearing a mask because it's the zombie apocalypse outside or whatever. I said in that episode that two of the prototypes in testing did in fact have an under display fingerprint reader. But of course, you don't have to take my word for it. In fact, in fact, you never should. Luckily for you, this has since been backed up by Mark Gurman from Bloomberg. And now we have two brand new reports out as of yesterday about this exact thing. Number one is from the Wall Street Journal. Of course, they're taking the whole angle of Galaxy S21 feature coming to iPhone because clicky headline. And according to them, oh, uh, never mind. They put the article behind a paywall because sure, that's how news should work. Okay, fine. I'll play your reindeer games, Wall Street Journal. Let's see how much this is. Jesus, why? God. All right, okay, fine. I hope you guys signed up for WeVPN today because this Wall Street Journal membership is gonna make me poor. Okay, put the card information in and do the, the thing. Okay, the check out and okay, we did it. Everybody, We. The t this is ours. This is a collective thing. The Toilet Squad now has a membership at the Wall Street Journal. We did it. Now that we did that, we can actually read it. Oh, Okay, she literally just says that there will be an in-display fingerprint reader. Wow. That was worth the 20 god dollars. Me. 
man. I did say that there was a second report that came out yesterday, and this one is free, thank God. It comes from McGuire Wood, writing for Appleosophy, and his is a bit more detailed, saying that specifically, I'm just kidding. But what if I did? He says in his article specifically that the under display fingerprint reader will be an ultrasonic fingerprint reader using sound waves to make a map of your fingerprint. So instead of just taking my word for it here on the show, you now have more and more reports coming out saying the same thing, which is great news for you. If this is something that you want, the more outlets that are saying it, the better probability that it's gonna happen. As far as the ultrasonic thing, I'll back McGuire up on this one because I've heard the exact same thing. So there's that. Oh, and also, sorry about the whole upside down iPhone thing in the thumbnail. It gets you every time. I can't, I can't help myself, man. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you hate my stupid face, the dislike button, that works too. Lots of people like that one. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.